Now we go into so-called lecture three: steady state distribution versus non-steady state diffusion. We're moving from steady state diffusion towards general non-steady state diffusion, and we are going to understand, introduce the fixed second law, which probably you have uh, touched upon in your previous um, study. Okay. So steady state diffusion. You probably heard of the concept steady state. What does steady state mean? Well, steady means steady, doesn't change, right? State. My first question to you is, is steady state the same as equilibrium? Steady versus equilibrium. I saw some masses shaking his hand, uh, head. The answer is no. Indeed, it is, it is no. But uh, there are similarities. As I kind of listed here, the one big significant sim similarity is that the state function, the function that uh, describes the system in both steady state versus equilibrium, they do not really change with time. That's how well that term steady state come from. Equilibrium means, okay, it stays in here. You check back one day, check back one year. As long as you don't change the temperature pressure, etc., it nothing really change. Steady state, okay, as long as you maintain something. And we are going to talk about that something. Then, okay, temperature and the concentration doesn't also really change with time. That's similarity. There are similarities between these two so-called uh, terminology. But uh, there is one major difference, which is about the net flux or the net flow of things. Net flow or the net reaction rate. When we say under equilibrium, under equilibrium condition, the net flux or the so-called net reaction rate is zero. Equilibrium means whatever goes to the right equals whatever goes towards the left. Whatever goes from ice to liquid water equals whatever goes from liquid water to ice. That's equilibrium. Make sense? But steady state is different. It has a read have to be non-zero if the net is zero that is what equilibrium it has to have a non-zero net flux the moment that you connect the battery with a external circuit put a copper wire that current flows that current no matter how big or small depending on your resistance is not uh, zero that's called steady state. Make sense? Or a net reaction going at a non-zero and also constant quite often flux. That's called steady state. Okay? So let's look at our so-called uh, fixed first law. What is our fixed first law? It relates J, which is flux with Partial differential of C versus X location, that's so-called a concentration gradient by a constant that we call diffusion coefficient. Of course, we don't forget that negative sign over there. That's our fixed first law. Okay, and under steady state condition, this J cannot be zero, right? This J's flux cannot be zero. It has a constant, but does not zero. Okay, and if what we said, okay, steady state, the state function, the concentration would not change with time. Steady, okay. Locally, the concentration doesn't change with time. The flux also doesn't change with time steady right how 
how fast the current or the reaction goes at the same speed. That's called steady state. Okay. And if we are dealing with one dimension, which is we are going to simplify it from three dimension down to one dimension, simplest case. The J, the flux term, it doesn't change with time. It also doesn't change with, for simple one dimensional case, it doesn't change with location. Doesn't change with location. Then, if D, in this equation, if the left side is a constant, the J doesn't change with time, doesn't change with location. D, if it's also a constant, we said the, the diffusion coefficient may earlier we mentioned may change with crystal structure, may change with uh, concentration. But for simplicity, if we can assume D B is also a constant, then what does the concentration profile look like? When we say concentration profile, we quite often mean concentration versus X means location. That is concentration profile. Plot concentration versus location. That's our concentration profile. What would the concentration profile look like if we are steady state for one dimensional? And if we also assume D is a constant. Of course, now let's stare at this mathematical relationship. We said J flux is minus D, the concentration gradient term. The left side is a constant, we said steady state, doesn't change with time, doesn't change with location. And if D is also a constant for simplicity, then what happens to the gradient term? Constant, constant, this guy must be constant, okay, which means the gradient is a constant. And from dc over dx, do you see we can in principle get integration of the local concentration by this integration? What did we do? j over d minus give us the j over d minus sign give us the dc over dx. And we do integration over dx, that should give us the C term, right? And then J and D both are constant. J and D are both constant. Do you see? Go from here, we are going to get something like this integration. At any location, the concentration minus the concentration at, let's say, your zero location would be because J over D is con are both constant, will just be a simple linear x. What is this curve? If you are going to plot, as what is said, we are going to have something like this. Sorry. Okay. So, this is what we have. And uh, we have concentration. at uh, zero, that gives us the starting point. And because of this relationship, this C x equals zero, and this uh, linear term of location, we are going to have a straight line, and the slope depends on the j over d minus x. And of course, if the d is positive, the slope goes down, right? And uh, the slope, as what we said, is j over d minus. And the, this is what we got. One linear steady state diffusion in one dimensional. Okay, if we have constant diffusion co coefficient for simplicity, steady state, which means j doesn't change with time, linear doesn't change with location, then we're going to have a very simple relationship between the concentration and location. It's a straight line. 
which means the concentration does change with location under steady state. The concentration does change with location under steady state. If the concentration doesn't change with location, that is what we quite often call equilibrium because the slope term would be zero. Make sense? Okay. Give me a second.